Hello plant people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought this video could just be a bit more of a chilled out plant with me, maybe I'll call it. So welcome to my plant with me. I don't know where to start, if I'm honest. I'll start by showing you what my plans are. So I have here, as you may have seen before, two uh, satin pothos. I want to combine those two plants into one plant. So that's kind of on my list to do. I was going to divide this peperomia into two smaller plants. However, I have two plant pots here. However, I think, I mean, I've never divided a peperomia before. I don't know how it would go down, if you know what I mean. I also think that if I did divide it successfully, it might look a bit weird having like massive leaves with, you know, in small pots. So what I think I might do is, I'm not gonna use these pots and I think I'm gonna try and propagate the peperomia. So we'll give that a go. I don't have rooting hormones, so I'm I'm not necessarily expecting it to work, but I'm gonna try that anyway. Um, this is Gus, if you haven't seen him before. He is my Maranta. Um, he's doing fine. I'm not gonna touch him too much. He's got some leaves coming in here but there is kind of a gap, I don't know if you can see on camera here. There's kind of a gap here that I want to fill. So I'm going to take some of the pieces that I've propagated from him and I'm gonna stick them back in the top so he looks a little bit more full. Um, I may pull him completely out of his pot to see what his uh, situation is with his roots because I suspect with a lot of these things I might actually have to trim the roots. Now I know I'm probably gonna get shouted at for that, probably gonna get some hate, but I really think I'm going to need to because I only have pots of a certain size so we'll see how that goes. Also, my ankles are really hurting because oh, I'm kneeling on the floor and it's honestly not that comfortable. However, this is like the best setup that I could possibly get. So where shall we start? I'm going to start, I'm going to remove these from the table because although they look great, they're not going to be that useful for us. So I'll put that down there. And I think I'm going to do the pothos first because I'm really excited about doing that. I've been waiting to do this for a while. I didn't know if I wanted to get rid of them combine them back. When I bought these two uh, silver pothos, they were actually in uh, a container like this together, but it just, it never grew. And I just thought, you know what? That looks a bit smushed. I'm gonna have a look at the roots. And the roots were fantastic, but there was just no space in the pot. So I uh, I separated them. I, um, I halved them. So I will take that and put that there. At least I get some pots back though. So yeah, when I bought this, I did buy it. You know, it's a plant made from cutting. So I don't know if you can, I don't know how well you can see on camera. I can't zoom in, but those are pretty decent roots. So there's one. I mean, I'm going to get soil everywhere. There's two. And here's the third. That's looking all right. And there's a little shoot coming off that one. I thought I saw a shoot. Yeah, I did. Here as well, a little white shoot. <laughs> it's getting like no light. So that's not too bad. Well, that's looking good. My goodness, I might have to trim that down. That's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, really good roots. Really, really good roots. Can you tell how messy this is gonna get? I'm gonna now try and put the soil off to one side. So I just have a better little workbench and I'm gonna take the pot that I'm gonna use. They are going straight into a terracotta pot because why not? Um, oh my God, I wanna show you some really cool that I bought actually from Amazon. And I know a lot of people when they pot stuff into terracotta, obviously you have a drainage hole, which is great, but a lot of time people need something to stop the soil actually just running out from the bottom. A lot of people put, I think, stones in the bottom or like a piece of um, like pottery or something. But I, wait till you see this. I bought from Amazon. These are just the best thing. I bought these little discs. Now, I can't really hold it up any further to the camera than what it is. So I really apologize if that won't focus, but they're just little plastic uh, discs with like a gratedness to them. And you basically take them and you just place them in the bottom of your pot. And I just think that's great. It just solves all the problems and it still lets the water drain. And these were super cheap, by the way. I'll try and post the link to where I got them from, but I'm sure like, I'm sure I got 50 of these and they were just no money at all. They were so cheap. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that into the bottom of the pot. So it sits over the drainage hole. I'm going to move those down there. And now I need some new soil. Oh, I'll show you the soil actually while I'm on. I just got it from my local plant store. I don't actually know anything about the brand. That's probably a bad thing. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm breaking loads of plant rules. In not knowing, but I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's quite nice. 
very fine texture. I'm gonna use this to help shell out the soil if I can even, you know what, I can't even get it in. I can't even get it in. I grabbed all these implements to try and make my life easier. It's not making my life e any easier at all. I'm just gonna pour it in. I don't actually want to use the cactus mix today if I can help it because something is coming. Um, early next week, I've bought a very special plant and if you follow me on Instagram, you know what that plant maybe is, if you check the tags. I'm so excited about it, but I only have so much cactus mix left because I used it for my alocasia. But I really wanna keep the mix uh, for when that comes because I need soil like instantly available to pot it up. I'm going to do an unboxing when that plant arrives because it's a very special plant. Yeah, I, I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. I'm not even gonna put much pearl in this, you know. I'm gonna mix it in the pot because it's easier. So yeah, something very special is coming in the mail and there will be an unboxing video and it will be so good. I'm scared actually because I've basically ordered quite a rare plant, but I've never owned any variety of this plant before, let alone a rare version. I've never ordered a plant online before and I've never, you know, received any plants in the mail before either. I've also never spent that much money on a plant before. So I'm breaking like, not breaking, yeah, I am, I'm breaking records anyway. And now I'm just gonna evaluate if I need to trim any of these because I actually think I'm gonna trim that just so it matches with the rest. Please don't hate me for trimming anything. I'm not gonna trim loads, honestly, I'm not. I'm just gonna take this, 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 and this. Don't hate me, YouTube, don't hate me for doing that. Honestly, I don't know about anybody else, but after this rare plant that I bought, I'm kind of on a no buy, which if you don't know what that means, it's literally, I'm not supposed to be buying any more plants. I set that for myself, no one actually said, oh, don't buy any more plants. Um, my boyfriend's reasonably supportive of my plant addiction, I guess. I mean, it does need curbing because I have not many plants, I wouldn't say but the plants I have are pretty massive. So, you know, if he says, you know, it's getting a bit overrun, you kind of have to believe him on that because they're large plants. Me adding one plant is taking up like a corner in the house. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, if he ever says they're overrun, then I have to go with that. But he hasn't said that. Um, it's more to do with the plant I'm buying. I, uh, you, you'll just know what I mean when I get the, the new plant that's on its way right now as it, as it happens. I'm gonna pour it all in. I'm gonna pour it all in. Guys, by the way, this is 100% not how to plant plants, by the way. Um, so do not take this as any kind of instructional video because I am butchering this. Also, I haven't put any more perlite in that soil. What I like to do is I put perlite further down in the soil and uh, as soon as it gets to the point where it's near the top of the pot, I actually don't use perlite there because I don't actually like the look of perlite. I just think it makes the soil just look just a bit crap, really. Sorry, I'm gonna have to turn this round because I can't really see what this looks like. Oh, you know what, from the front, it's not that bad. It's just the rest that is bad. Tell you what, I'm gonna speed this up and I'm just gonna come back to you when I've actually arranged this in a way that I'm happy with. Hell yeah, there we go. You know what, I think that looks okay. It's not the best looking, but I feel like in a few days it'll, you know, sort itself out. Show you up close. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it's all right. Considering it's lived in separate pots, I think it looks reasonably cohesive. Okay, so the next thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at the Maranta cuttings that I have and work out what to do with Gus, who is eh, chilling over here. Um, I don't think I can stick more than one cutting in there, but I think I can definitely do at least one. This is a self-watering pot and I don't know the state he's currently in. This could be very interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna get him out. I should maybe have had a spoon, but I don't. And I'm mic'd up so I can't move. So this is gonna be fun. Bye-bye manicure. In hindsight, I don't think I actually needed a self-watering pot. I think 
uh, Gus, the Maranto, was one of the first plants that I got that was kind of a little bit more demanding, should we say. And I just, I guess I just panicked. Uh, I read that they needed to be moist all the time, they needed high humidity. So I went and bought this self-watering plant pot um, just to make sure I didn't kill it, basically. You know, I'm absolutely fine taking care of plants now, so it's not really a problem. I'm pulling his root system up, this feels really wrong, but it's the only way he's coming out of this pot because he's, his roots will have grown down into the stones, so all I can do is Wow, is carefully lift him out, my god. So you guys are gonna hate me, but I, I am gonna trim those roots. I'm sorry, but I am. So he can go like that, but I think we can get in at least a cutting, maybe even two, you know. This cutting, which is actually from a different Maranta plant that I want to plant into a separate pot, which I'm going to today. Uh, so that's not gonna be put back in to the mother plant. Or father plant really because i guess this plant is male it looks kind of good to me but i just don't want it to be too crowded i really haven't added much to the root of anything i've taken away because i've trimmed it i guess i'm gonna use a reasonable amount of the old soil because before i get any hate about putting the soil back in this maranta will not stop blooming and i thought it might be because it was um Root bound, but that, you know what, in hindsight, it didn't look that root bound, I don't think. I think it looked fine. You know, it's difficult because he was never, you know, he never had a lot of mass up top and I can't really, putting in the cuttings hasn't really given him that mass. So this is Gus, I think he's finished now. As I say, there are leaves coming in here, so I don't want to overgroup this part in the uh, in the top. I don't know if you can see that in the viewfinder. So I'm just going to do my best. Leave it like that. See if he adjusts his leaves accordingly and he just, you know, poofs himself up. There's Gus looking a lot more full. Full of himself. <laughs> full of himself. Right. I have here... I have this bad boy, which I really just wanted to root by himself, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm not sure now. He could benefit from having this other cutting stuck in. I think. And just make a bit of a better, fuller looking plant like that. Yeah. I think we'll do that. It looks, this is the thing with the Maranta, they just look so sad, but they're not. It's because I'm under soft boxes right now. I'm under two soft boxes. So obviously the leaves are going to be bowing like crazy, but it just, it just looks so sad when I'm potting it. Like it's supposed to look happy. I'm always very afraid when someone comes to my house and sees my Maranta because I feel like they're going to judge me and be like, yo, you're letting all your plants wilt. Like, do you know anything? And it's like, no, these are supposed to wilt. Please don't judge me. They're happy, I promise. Same thing for Calathea as well. Again, doesn't look amazing. I expect a leaf will come and sit on top of that and fill that. Yeah, I think that's it. As I say, I have a very special plant arriving next week. Today, as I said before, is the eighth. The special plants that I have arriving that I will not tell you about. If you really want to know, you can look at my Instagram. When this plant comes, if I can keep it successfully, I will be absolutely uh, passing out cuttings, whether that's maybe selling them uh, eventually or doing giveaways with them. So pray with me and hopefully we will get this plant into one of these pots safe and sound in the next few days. So thank you very, very much for watching this plant with me. I'm sorry I didn't get too chatty. It turns out this kind of takes quite a lot of my concentration. Yeah, I'm now going to clean all of this up and put my living room back to the way it should be. Um, and put these plants in their new homes. I just wanna say one thing very, very quickly. A few of you have been tagging me in pictures and things in Instagram. Um, I just wanna let you know, I actually love that. That's great. I love getting tagged in something and going and looking at pictures of your plant and seeing what you've, you've got to say about them and commenting back and having a talk about them. I love that. Don't be afraid to do that. Keep it coming. I just, I really enjoy engaging with you guys. So please feel free to tag me and stuff in Instagram. Um, that's my Instagram right there, Let's Wet My Plants. If you'd like to follow it, please do. 
So thank you very, very much for watching. Please wish me luck in clearing all this up and I will see you next time. Bye.